Yo guys! So what if you have an Android phone that you want to connect to the internet, but you don't have access to Wi-Fi or mobile data? Well that's where reverse tethering comes in handy. With reverse tethering, you can share a computer and internet connection to your phone via USB. Now you can do this through Wi-Fi, and if you're interested, check out my other video because I show how to do it over there. But for this video, we're going to do it through USB. Now before you get started, there are a couple of things you need to make sure they have installed on your computer. First, make sure you have the Java runtime environment installed. Second, make sure you have the Android debug tools installed. And third, make sure you have Git Bash installed, but that's only if you're using Windows. If you're using Linux, you can run these scripts without any problem. Now, to make all this happen, there's this really cool application that this developer created, and he even documented all the steps he took to develop this, so I highly recommend reading his blog as this is a very interesting read from a developer standpoint. So what you want to do is go and download the application. After you unzip it, open up the git bash within the current location. Within git bash, we first want to start the server on your PC. So type in the name, followed by relay. Now let's open up a new bash window. Within this new window, we're going to install the APK to your Android device. So of course, make sure your Android device is connected to the computer and ADB debugging is enabled. With it, type in the name, followed by install. This will install the APK to your Android device. Be aware that you're not going to see the app in your app drawer, but it is installed if you check in the application manager. And finally, to start the service, type in the name followed by start. And this will start the service on your Android device. You will see a keyring pop up in the status bar. It's going to think you're using a VPN connection, but technically is not. And just to confirm it's working, you should see the packets going in and out of the other bash window that we had open earlier. So guys, this has been a quick and easy way to reverse tether on your Android device. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go and follow me on social media. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.